Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an associate professor of bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. In this video, we will be comparing the performance of 14 machine learning algorithms on a synthetically generated data set. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do now is to head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor and click on the code repository. Scroll down and click on the Python folder. And then you will see the comparing classifiers.ipynb. So go ahead and click on that one. Okay. So if you don't have access to a computer where you can code, just follow along on the GitHub page here because it is already in the notebook format. And for those of you who would like to follow along, please download a copy by right click on the raw link and then save link as into your computer. So I'm going to save this into the Python folder. Okay, and then I'm going to open up my command prompt and then head over to the folder. Okay, and then I'm going to activate my working environment in Conda and then Jupyter Notebook. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the notebook. Okay, so here, let's begin. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a synthetic data set. And in order to do that, we're going to use the make classification function of the scikit-learn package. So to run this, go ahead and shift enter. And then we're going to generate the synthetic data set by using this make classification. And then we're going to assign it to the X and Y variable, which will be newly generated as a result of this function. And so the input argument that we're going to use here is we're going to create a synthetic data set comprising of 1000 samples. So for N underscore samples, we're going to have it assign a value of 1000. And for N underscore classes, we're going to assign a value of two because we're going to create two classes for this data set and n underscore features we're going to have five so n underscore redundant we're going to have it zero and then we're going to assign the random underscore state to be one okay for reproducibility so let's go ahead and run this cell okay so let's examine the shape of the newly generated variable so x dot shape will give us 1000 rows, which is the first value. And the second value correspond to five columns, which is the number of features here, which we have already assigned a value of five. And then the Y dot shape will give us 1000, which will be the same dimension here because there are 1000 samples and no value follow this one. So it means that there is one column, which is the Y class label. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to split the data into 80 20. So we're going to import the library, particularly we're going to use the train test split from the scikit-learn package. So go ahead and run that. And the data split will be performed here using this train test split. And it will take as input the X and Y variables, which corresponds to the five input features and the class label and test size with 0.2 which is the 20% and then the 80% will be for the train and so here we will generate four variables concurrently and it will comprise of x train x test y train and y test so the two x here are the input features the five input features and the y train and y tests are the class labels right okay so the x train and the y train will be used to generate the machine learning model and after we have done that we're going to apply the machine learning model to make a prediction which we will be using the x test so we're going to mention that below. So let's examine the data dimension. So x underscore train dot shape will give us 800 by 5 because there are 800 samples. And because 80% of 1000 is 800. And y train dot shape will give us 800 rows and one column. X test dot shape will give us 200 and 5, which corresponds to 200 samples and 5 columns. Y test dot shape will give us 200. 
So the fun part is right here. So we're going to import all of the modules. So the first one will be pandas SPD for the subsequent generation of the data frame of the results. And then the big chunk of code here will be all of the machine learning algorithms that we're going to use. So we're going to run that. And the names of all of the machine learning algorithms are shown here in this names list and then the classifiers will contain a list of all of the machine learning algorithms that we're going to use so here we're going to use the basic input for the algorithms so in a future video we're probably going to cover about how you can optimize these hyperparameters in an automated way so stay tuned for that one but today we're just going to use the default values so go ahead and run that line okay so now we're going to iterate the construction of the machine learning models one by one in a for loop. So firstly, we're going to generate a empty scores variable where the model will be generated and then the scores of the model will be calculated. And for each iteration, which will correspond to the construction of one machine learning model out of the 14 machine learning models. And for each of the machine learning model, it will output the score and each score score will be append to the scores variable. So because there are 14 machine learning algorithms, the for loop will occur for 14 times. And for each time, it will output a score, the accuracy score, and add that to the scores variable. And because it's going to loop this over and over for 14 times, therefore the scores variable will be a list of 14 accuracy score values. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so we haven't run this yet, right? Do it again. Okay, so the model building will take some time because it is looping over 14 algorithms. Okay, so model building is finished. And then we're gonna just type in scores so that we see the value of this variable. So the accuracy score of the 14 machine learning models are shown here. So the 14 machine learning model gave a accuracy score in the range of 0 0.79 and 0 0.885. So maybe you're wondering that the score list here is good, it's informative, but it's a bit too plain. So let's see if we can spice it up a bit. So this is the purpose of the fourth section here. So analysis of the model performance. Okay, so the first part, we are going to import the library. So we're going to use the pandas and we're going to use Seaborn. And so then we're going to create a data frame of the result. So df equals to pd, which is using the pandas function, dot data frame. So this will create an empty data frame. And then df bracket, and then we're going to use single quotation, name equal to names. And the names here will coming from here. The names right here, the name of the machine learning classifier. And then the scores will come from the scores. So the scores variable will contain the 14 accuracy score from the 14 machine learning algorithms. So here we're going to use name and score. So we have the name of the 14 machine learning algorithms and the corresponding accuracy score. So this looks much better than the previous list that, that we can see here. So maybe you're wondering, okay, this is good, but can I have it a bit better? Okay, so let's have a look here. So what about we add some color to this? Okay, so here we're going to use the Seaborn and Light Palette function. And the color is green. So feel free to change this to other color that you like. And we're going to style the background, as you can see here, using this function, style background gradient. And okay, so I have to import Seaborn as SNS. So let me put it up here. Oh, I already have it. Okay, but I didn't run it. So let's run it. Okay, there you go. So you can see that the model with the least performance will have lighter shade of green and the best performance will have darker shade of green here. And let's have a look in another way. So if we make bar plot of the model performance, so let's say that we want to have the background to be white and then we're going to create a simple bar plot. 
So the y-axis will be the name of the machine learning algorithms and the x-axis will be the accuracy score. And so here we're going to specify that the input data is coming from the DF data frame. And so this is a graphical view of the same data that we have here. So choose whichever one that you like or you can even use both. So feel free to play around with this code and we're gonna cover in more depth of Seaborn in future videos. So if there is any additional topic that you would like to be covered, please let me know in the comments. So try changing the input data to be a data that interests you and play around with the code, modify it, and then upload this to GitHub so that your data science portfolio could grow. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and to build your data science portfolio. So if you haven't yet, check out the video that I have covered about building your data science portfolio. So check that out in the link up here. Okay, so until next time. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.